Fears of leaving the home during a pandemic have led to a drop in vaccinations nationwide. But this doctor is trying to change that by bringing vaccines to people's homes. When COVID-19 came to us, unwanted, but it, it got here, we as a group decided to do the mobile medical clinic so that we wouldn't have our patients be devoid in vaccines. Dr. Greg Moyer runs Lake Country Pediatrics in Waukesha County, Wisconsin. Across the country, physicians like him are warning that the sharp drop in vaccination rates could lead to spikes in diseases like rubella, whooping cough, and measles. Our biggest fear is measles. Last year, the U.S. had a fairly sizable measles epidemic. In 2019, the U.S. saw more than 1,200 cases of measles because of a sharp drop in vaccination rates. The CDC says it was the highest outbreak since 1992. Greg worries the pandemic could make the situation even worse. That's with you know vaccine rates anywhere from 70 to 85 percent, depending on where you're at. And now nationwide, you've got a whole cohort of kids that only about 20 to 25 percent are being vaccinated. Inside the mobile clinic, Greg and his team can do nearly every procedure available in the regular office, with some exceptions. We can do lead screening, we can do hemoglobin screening, do any type of lab draws that need to be done. We have full stock of all the vaccines. So inside the minibus, um, there is a patient table or a bed. We have um, the otoscope, the blood pressure cuff, hearing screens. We have a refrigerator for the vaccines. We have um, scale, so we're able to do height, weight check, make sure growth is going great. We do everything the same. You get the same quality care. It's just in a bus and we come to your house for it. Wisconsin enacted a safer at home order on March 25th. Lake Country clinicians began thinking about house calls later that week. I got the idea from my uh, great grandma and my family. I was told the story about how she had three kids a year apart and the doctor would come to her house unannounced just to see how chaotic life was. At first, they considered just driving to patients' homes but it can take weeks for insurers to approve those kinds of visits. We all brainstormed and said, let's do, instead of doing home visits, let's just create a mobile medical clinic and come to them. So it's not technically a home visit, it's just an extension of the office. They looked for old ambulances or minibuses to buy and found the right one on April 1st. By April 7th, they were out seeing patients. Depending on driving distances, Lake Country's mobile clinic can visit about 10 homes per day, seeing half the number of patients they normally would. We still felt that it was really important to do, even though it's not a revenue generator in any way, shape, or form. Lake Country Pediatrics is not alone in terms of financial hardship. Healthcare jobs were once thought to be recession-proof, but more than a million have been lost since March, as fewer Americans are seeking care. Keeping a mobile medical clinic clean is essential. So this is called a smart flogger, and it is technology that was invented during the SARS epidemic, and they used it at Duke University. And what it does is it aerosolizes hydrogen peroxide, which will kill every virus, kill every bacteria, and every fungus. And if we stayed in the room long enough, it would just turn into a big fog, like you're in a cloud. And then that gets into every surface, any equipment that we want to have sterilized, um, it basically does it for us. As of May 13th, Waukesha County is no longer under a stay-at-home order, but Greg and his team are keen on keeping the minibus going. Initially we said, we're gonna use it for influenza season regardless, because there's plenty of times in January and February we've actually had to cancel well exams because we've had so many kids in with influenza and we just didn't want those healthy kids coming into an office. Both patients and parents have enjoyed the experience of having a bus roll up to their houses. Going into the office, you're obviously exposed to things that um, you might not be in the mobile van. The time frame was great. Like one kid came in, the other one out. The next one came in, we have four kids, so it was, it was very convenient for us. We've already had requests for people, can you bring the mobile bus and, and then, you know, have the kids play on the bus for their birthday? Do you like the van, Tenley? <laughs> That's a yeah. <laughs>